for the NWO Fighters Program, and you listen to Liberty Broadcasting Network. It is the 5th of July, 2011, and i got an action-packed three hours for you once again. I want to see how many people I can tick off today, and how many people I can make happy, and hopefully bring some bright light to this world, my little piece of it here. But, yeah, I do. I have to admit, sometimes I'm an instigator. I like to tick people off sometimes that are the bad guys. And if I don't get a tick off or some indicator, then I just pick it up esteem. I pick it up a little bit more till I can tick off more of them. Because when you tick them off, you tick off the Lucifer. You tick off Satan. You tick off the evil. But it's not me. It's not me. Because you're talking about the biggest hammer is going to come when the Lord Jesus Christ comes back to this earth. That's going to really tick some people off, but shouldn't because they have an opportunity to take him as their savior. I bet you never heard, quite heard it put that way before. I got a kind of a down-home kind of way of bringing things to the light. And no, New Agers, I'm not talking about enlightenment. You can scrap that bit of garbage. I get a <laughs> yeah. Have I ticked anybody off yet? Yeah, well, I'm trying. All right. Before I even get started, I'm going to bring some juice to this broadcast. Because my broadcast is dedicated to the Lord Jesus Christ. is dedicated to God. Lord God, we pray to you. We come before you humbled. Lord, we see the signs, and they are approaching just like your word has said. Lord, those that don't see are blind. Lord, help us to bring the light. And Lord, we're talking about the light of the King James Bible, of the true word of God, and the prophecies already laid down by the prophets of old. Lord, we pray for our soldiers, meaning all of them, all our military personnel that's over in these foreign lands. And Lord, we pray for the families that need comfort in their times of stress and strife and missing loved ones. And we pray for the comfort of those military personnel, all of them, Lord, that those in pain, that they can be comforted no matter where they are. We pray for even our enemies, Lord, because we know they know not what they do. Lord, we pray for salvation of this world as as free will that we are given and free will that we have that it's up to us to make the choice. And Lord, we know we have free will no matter what the human segments think. We have free will to make that choice. And it is our choice, Lord. But Lord, you, you've given us the signs. You've given us the way through the sacrifices by the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross and he was resurrected for our sins so that we may be saved eternally. Lord, and that's why we simply say, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I could just about finish my broadcast right there, and it about covered it. But, no, I'll continue. <laughs> I got mixed, mixed news of different types. I'm going to continue with what I started yesterday. Yesterday was three hours. I didn't even get past the first three or four headlines. I had 20 to go. <laughs> but I'm going to do that today, at least the most that I can. I have a guest tomorrow, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Steve Coiter, Coiter, and he's a well-accomplished author. He's a lover of Jesus Christ and God, and he has written many articles concerning what to expect in the future, how to get through the tribulations and how to deal with what's coming. And I read those and I was very much impressed 
and I contacted him and he agreed to at least do one hour tomorrow from three to four. And I am working as we speak, uh, and I don't have the exact date, it'll be Thursday or Friday, hopefully, of another guest uh, that I discovered last night. Um, her, her name is Jennifer Jones, that uh, was speaking uh, in a, a sort of a city council meeting, and when she was speaking, the city council uh, realized that she was getting ready to air some bad laundry, and they had her was going to have her removed. But the mayor uh, was going to stop it, and the city council was persecuting the mayor for giving people's the voice, and they had a chief of police is also involved in the scandal. Accusations are being made, and she was given the floor in the meeting to the open to the public. As she is speaking, this council realized, as I said before, the dirty laundry is going to be aired, and they beckoned their police officers to cart her off. She held tightly to her microphone, wouldn't let them do it, and the mayor was stepped in and said that she'd been recognized to not bother her and has not violated the council's rules and it was it was ongoing between the council and the mayor and eventually they had it removed but the people just sat there grumbled but just sat there they could easily have stood up and blocked the door not to allow them to remove her i sometimes are very wary of these instances these situations that are provoked on purpose, but in this case, I saw that it clearly was not. This was clearly a violation. <clears throat> As in the Food for Bombs program, that was provoked by not only the protesters planned and the police participated, basically. That was pretty clear. And also discovered the Food for Bombs activist group, activist group are taken in by Amnesty International that's supported and financed by George Soros. So that was pretty pretty slam dunk. But this was certainly um, not the case here. That you had a division among the mayor and council about her rights to speak, and it was, it was clearly not acted out. I will post that uh, YouTube video of this actual event after this broadcast. And you can view it on my website at www.nwofighters.org. That's my website. So uh, that'll be up right after the broadcast. And you'll be able to see it tonight after 6. Where do we go from here? Well, that's two guests that I'm hoping to get. And I got a third one on the line I won't talk about yet. I'm sure you're all tired of hearing me talk. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. No, I'm joking. So, well, sort of. I, uh, I have a mixture, and you will find in my broadcast, unlike many in other networks, I incorporate the spiritual, the political, and the economic. And I'll tell you why. Because all three are inextricably linked to the same conspiracy. You cannot talk about one and not the others. If you do, you're being very you're being negligent negligent in telling the people the truth about what's going on. It's all connected to the same conspiracy. The major part of this conspiracy, the major part of these headlines, is all based on the spiritual. We're in a spiritual war, literally. That spiritual war is going to show itself not far down the line, given the signs that we're getting, that we are in the end times. And keep in mind, the end times are not the end times, as people would have you believe. The end times are only the beginning of the eternity. Your decision, your commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ determines where you spend that eternity. It is that simple. Satan coming as a sheep 
a wolf in sheep's clothing. Satan coming as a wolf in sheep's clothing. In other words, inside evil, outside he could even be a preacher, a minister, a priest, someone, a truth teller. But inside, there's a scam going on. You see, be careful of that. Watch the fruits. They always show themselves. Always. But look for it. Don't fall in love with, in matter of speaking, of course, of a particular preacher or truth teller or political leader. Not remotely. No man is infallible. Not even one. None of us are. Not one. And you will find that many of those that were in our favor have been assassinated, killed, murdered. Literally. You see. You will find that to be true. Satan brings despair, pain, Helplessness. And that's where it'll leave you. God brings you hope. He brings you peace. He brings you strength through the bad. Oh, the bad's not going to go away. The bad just makes you stronger because you know where you're heading. And as far as I'm concerned, all I can say is when I hear all this doom and gloom, is bring it on, baby. Bring it on. Because my big daddy is going to step on your head because he's already done it. All we're doing now is counting the casualties of this war that's already been lost for them. Jesus Christ has already won. God is on the throne. And that's not going to change. End of story. Non-negotiable. So when you hear this despair and you hear all this, know that Yes, trial days are coming. But know that the end is already won. And good is won out. That's a guarantee. You ever watch Hee Haw, BR549, and he kicks the side. <laughs> oh, boy, that really ages me, doesn't it? Hee Haw. I haven't seen that in a long time. So, just keep that in mind when you hear all this other. Is there pain coming? Yes, there is. There is, you know, and there's persecution coming. Satan's wrath is coming. He can only do as much as God will allow him. But then, God's wrath will follow. And you don't want to be in the middle of that one. That's another story when we talk about the rapture. A very controversial subject. Very controversial. No one really knows. Everybody says they do, but they don't. We kind of know when the second coming itself is really going to happen, because it's seven years after the signing of the peace treaty. But those days will be cut short, because if they're not, all of humanity would be lost. Because Satan, that's all he wants is the souls of the Heavenly Father that belongs to him. And the only way he can do that is by deception. Don't be deceived. Be ready. Be ready. Time's coming. And so is a commercial break. <laughs> well, you know it. I'll be back after this one. Listen to these politicians, and you start to realize that the straight talk that we get from them is just a pack of lies. They're rewarding fraud and thuggery. Acorn, S-E-I-U. They use strong-armed corruption to steal from me and you. They're waging war on freedom. And let me tell you how. They're following the instructions. You are listening to Liberty Broadcasting Network. Visit us online at www.libertybroadcastingnetwork.com. Enjoy our new website, where you'll find all your favorite hosts and the latest news and articles in our fight against the New World Order. Don't forget to sign up for our newsletter, which you will receive monthly updates on events, new guests, 
and so much more. Thank you for listening and support our sponsors to keep us going here at LBN. We hit Mr. Blake's cell window. Wait, 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 wait. What, what are you talking about? We bugged Mr. Blake's cell. You what? We bugged the cell with Arnold's tape recorder. Just listen to this, Paul. I, I can't listen to that. But Paul. Obi, I can't listen to that. I'm not permitted. But Paul, you don't understand. Obi, I can't listen to this. Now, I told you about eavesdropping. But Paul, this is different. Yes, it's worse. You overheard a conversation that was supposed to be private. Now, I can't be a party to that. But Paul, if you just listen to this. Obi, I can't listen. Paul, you're erasing the tape. That's what I mean to do. You bugged a conversation between a lawyer and his client. Now, that's violating one of the most sacred rights of privacy. But, Paul... No buts. But if it helps the law... Opie, the law can't use this kind of help.